It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I popped to my local bottle shop recently and I picked up a load of cans. A load of cans. Oh, there's some of them there. Some beet beer, some kernel, some daya, some track, some duration. But I'm here today to show you a daya beer. It's called In Balance. It's a pale ale. Uh, it's 4% ABV. And it cost me £5.25. Now, I, I haven't bought, I have, I have, I've been to uh, a couple of bottle shops since Christmas time. It's March 2023. Let's get this out into a glass, see what we get. I've started this review on a slight confusing note. I'll be back with you with my thoughts in a moment. Let's get the beer out. So I bought a load of beer uh, from these two bottle shops I use. There's one called Cardiff Discount Drinks, which I thoroughly love, really good. And then there's, some of you might see it as the Roth Bottle Shop. Um, they have another shop in Panath. On Twitter, they're called CF64 Bottle Shop, I think they're called. Let's have a look at their... Um, Postcode CF64 Bottle Shop on Twitter. Right, three finger white head, good levels of slow moving carbonation. It's a straw coloured beer. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be really interesting for me because I buy a lot of supermarket beer. I buy a lot from Tesco's, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Asda, Lidl, Aldi. Waitrose, a lot of them, Max and Spencers, they've all come out with these kind of 440 milliliter cans and the price point generally, especially for the big four supermarkets, is about £3 for a can of craft beer. Certainly a 4% pale ale in Morrison's, Asda or Tesco, Sainsbury's will be about £3. So I'm interested then to see what the kind of bottle shops can offer in terms of like a difference in quality. This being £5.25. Is there a... I'm pretty sure there will be. But is there a big enough jump for that kind of £5.25 price point per can, if you like? £5.25 for this. And you probably pay £3 in a supermarket. It looks good to start off with. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, already in the aroma, it's it's another level. It's a different class. You're picking out individual hop flavours, whereas I would say supermarket craft beer, there's more of a chance that you're going to pick up, like, one big giant kind of moulded together tropical flavour, if you like, rather than here... I'm actually smelling like wonderful grapefruit and pineapple aromas, tangerine, a peppery spiciness from the hops. Already in the aroma, it's another level, it's a different class. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. I forgot to mention, it's a rainy day here in South Wales. Raining, raining, raining. Uh, so you might hear some drops on the... Raindrops are falling on the roof. <laughs> Not on my head, thankfully. Yeah, it's superb. Absolutely superb, superb canned craft beer. It's really, really drinkable. It's really, really juicy. Let's put the can there. They call it in balance. I would say, yeah, most definitely there's a balance between that kind of little bit of sweet malt to begin with 
and then that fantastic hoppy finish on the back end, that kind of a little bit of spicy peppery bitterness on the back end, all of the flavours in the middle. Um, it's tremendous beer, it really is. Um, I can see why people... I, I know people, I, 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 I'm I friends with people who, who kind of refuse to buy supermarket beer and they will only buy from the bottle shop. They might buy less because it costs more, but when they do buy beer, they buy in kind of what their budget allows them to, but, 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 but of a kind of a higher quality of beer. This really is splendid, splendid beer. Nice levels of carbonation, pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. It is fantastically juicy. It is so drinkable and refreshing. As it's 4% ABV, the brewer hasn't had to use an awful lot of malt in the beer to be able to get to that 4% ABV. We all know the malt, they create the sugars from the malt and then the alcohol turns the sugar, sorry, the yeast turns the... I'm in the right mess now, aren't I? The yeast turns the sugars in the malt to alcohol. We got that in the end. So they don't need as much of it. <clears throat> so it's fantastically refreshing and drinkable. It's just kind of lovely and slightly kind of marmalade-y and spicy and peppery and grapefruit and tin pineapple. And there's so much going on with the beer. So much going on. It's fantastic from day of this. Absolutely fantastic. What I would like to say on this matter is that, of course, um, I review beer on YouTube. You, you kind of all know this now, and, and I've known it for a long time, haven't you? But um, <coughs> I'm in that kind of unique position where, where if supermarkets bring out a load of beer, and even if I'm not like... 100% kind of overly fussed by it. I might have a look at the website or I might see some YouTube videos pop up from other fantastic beer channels out there. And I might see that and I might go, oh, you know, I could do a giving this batch of this. Like, it's not really getting me that excited, but I do it anyway um, because of, of course, being a YouTuber, you guys want to see it. So I'm in that unique position where um, I get to kind of straddle the fence, I get to kind of buy supermarket beer on one hand, and then I get to buy bottle shop beer on the other hand. I then get sent beer from Australia and Finland and Germany and all over the world. So I'm in that kind of unique position, but I'm in this position where I'm able to say very confidently that there's a massive difference between bottle shop craft beer and supermarket craft beer. It's a bit like going to the farm shop. The farm shop, it's a lovely experience, isn't it? You buy your bacon, you buy your fresh sausage, all come from the farm. It looks, everything looks superbly kind of top quality. It looks terrific. It tastes terrific. It's a lovely experience. Everything is homemade. And then you go to the supermarket and it's kind of like rush round, Pick your sausage off the shelf, pick the bacon off the shelf, pick up your milk, pick up your butter. Whereas if you go to a farm shop, you're, you're not so much in a rush, you know. You're there because you want to be there. And, <coughs> pardon me, you're picking up your butters and your bacon and you you know, you're having a chat with the farm shop owner and yeah, everything's great. You might have a cup of tea there and a clotted cream sponge and, you know, like a cake and fantastic. Different quality, different class. Um, same with this beer really, same with this beer. Bottle shop, completely different really to supermarket craft beer. Let's rate it. Looks good, great lacing, smells good, tastes superb. By the way, this is not me attacking people who buy beer from the supermarkets because um, there's times where, there's a lot of times really where I'm in that very same position. You see me do my live streams on a Friday night, the Stone Cold Virtual Pub. Nine times out of ten, I'm drinking Vice beer from Lidl. 
you know, so so it, it, I kind of understand the, the both sides of the fence as well. Affordability, if you like. Um, it's a superb beer. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.